Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Spokus and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. As you can see, we're back here with the Cumin. And I was thinking, you know, uh, clearly, clearly when the game crashed the last time, it, it, in the last episode, it was the game's way to tell us we shouldn't have taken that Cumin to Ratai. I know if I let you go, you'll only cause more chaos and bloodshed. I'm sorry, but this can't end any other way. You even had some crushing with you, you little bitch. Oh. <clears throat> I throw you in the river, so you bloat. You'll get really, really big and bloating stuff. The river is flowing... I think in that direction. That's upriver and that's downriver. All right. Ah. There you go. Float to your death or something. I don't know. Anyhow. Well, we missed out on what? A hundred buckets of tickets. Ah, a Grushin. It was a couple of Grushin. That's fine. I think, I just think that I just can just survive that uh, that fact here. Mm. What are we gonna take now? No. Alright, let's go with this one here. It doesn't really matter. Our main main level is it's already just just for fun only. We already leveled up so much. I don't really care anymore. Um, where are we right now? I think we're down here, right? It was Ah oh, right here we are. So to go back on track I need to go with this path here. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can survive or if somebody's gonna get to us. And kind of kill us. And that might happen. Not likely, but it might happen. And it already happened. I'm not sure if I'm here. Maybe I'm here. There they are. Little shit bandits. Well, well, well. We could just run away, but... <laughs> asshole Henry. Is gonna rip them a new asshole. Oh, bitch. There you go. Where you got that sword from, huh? This guy can't fight, huh? Wow, I'm impressed. Too bad for you that I have a... A mighty thing, Falchion, attacking the bailiff. How stupid can one be, huh? Ooh, beer. I like beer. Speaking of beer, let's drink some beer. Mmm, beer. No, don't. What the fuck? I thought we had another apple. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah. Now I'm angry. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Now I'm pissed. Where'd he go? Damn it, he could have gone anywhere. Is that him? No, that's a wayfarer. What's that? 
No, that's a bandit, isn't it? That is him. Hey, who's there? What's Jay. that? There, you see him? There's the cunt. <laughs> There's the cunt, there, right? Are they gonna attack him? That's strange. It's a bit strange, I gotta say, but not strange enough. Okay, come on. There you go. Run. Ah. Oh. How bad. Hmm, nice leather boots. Bitch. All right. You know, it was like, um, just now we were hunting like the rich folk. We were hunting men. You know, everybody can hunt deers and hares and boars, but real men, yeah, hunting those down. That's the true sport for the nobility. Okay, that thing came out of nowhere. I saw something lying on the side. Is it a book? No. Yeah, that's it. I can't loot the horse. I can't get the message or whatever. Well, this is a cumin. So I guess somebody hunted down and killed the Cuban. All right, fine by me. Yeah. Fine by me. Oi, Mr. Millerman. I got some bad news for you. Somehow, that Cuban died. I can't talk to you. Why not? I hope I take care now. Come on, man. Talk to me, you bitch. There it is. The Sasa Monastery. Oh, it looks beautiful. And there is Sasso itself. My oh my. Yeah. Look at it. The sun is settling down. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice indeed. All right. Um, we got a couple of places to discover around here, apparently. Couple of activities too, apparently. My oh my! Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spend a couple of episodes here in Sasso, I guess. <laughs> we have a bit to do. Just a little bit. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Hello, Senor Weaponsmith. Speaking of Weaponsmith, what's this? Oh, the horse is a shit ton of them. Uh, you know what? Give me all the views anyways. There you go. Anything of that that is in good condition? Yeah. Spiked Warhammer, which is worse. Eh. Alright. So. Thinky. Thinky boy. Good day to you. Jesus Christ be praised. I need a skilled swordsmith in Privislavitz who'll put good, strong steel in my men's hands. Are you interested? What? Well, now, when I'm on the verge of forging the most powerful weapon ever seen, the Queen of Sheba's sword? No, no, I've no time now for anything else. Any chance of some work? Well, come to think. There is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. No! By the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. 
All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Are you sure the Queen of Sheba's a Czech queen? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our son priest. She's in the Bible. Uh -huh. Totally. Isn't it a bit strange that some pilgrim would have something so valuable? Are you suggesting you might have been lying? Well, people aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. God would smite him in a flash if he made light of holy relics that way. Of course he would. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from me. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. They just sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. It's a nice sword. That's a nice axe. Be this maze. Well, we have it. So we're good. Oh, wait a second. Before I start selling him anything. Yeah. And he does have quite a bit of money, so that's good. Um. Beautiful. No! No! Okay, it's fine. Alright, got quite a bit of money for that one. 900 sounds good. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure, sir. Okay, um, the Queen of Sheba's sword. Five things about that one. Okay, where are we going to go next? Well, basically we have to go further down this road here. Although, what's this one again? Oh, this is this is a blacksmith, right? Yeah. Mr. Blacksmith. He also has a quest later on, or, or at least he can, he can give us a quest or something. Um, but the good thing is this guy buys everything. So we can take everything. And see what we can sell to him for a reasonable price. Very, very reasonable. My lady, my lady. The sun sets out across the skies. He loses his way to the. Ah, is this guy the singing oh, ass face? What can I do Jesus Christ, be praised. I'm looking for pieces of a sword that a pilgrim from the Holy Land was selling. Would you happen to know anything about it? I would. Of course I would. Well? It's a load of tripe. Only a fool would have given that trickster a single groschen, and I'm no fool. How about you? But if you lied about that sort of stuff, it would be a terrible sin. <laughs> Don't be so gullible, lad. <laughs> that bastard never saw the Holy Land. Unless it was in a fresco. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. 
Ha! Nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently, and you could smell the heated iron. Then he plunged it into the water, and that was that. Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um... It's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever, unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Godly. It makes life easy for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. Yeah, well, I guess being a blacksmith... I mean, at least as a commoner, was one of the best things you could do. Because people always needed some shit, and you could get some good prize out of it. But is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while, and then quench it again. You quench twice? Yes. Although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. I've no idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. I've heard it said that you're a warlock. Of course. Why the fuck would they say that? They say when you temper steel, you chant spells, and then nothing of yours ever breaks. Spells? <laughs> That's a good one. It's no spell. Just a rhyme to time myself so I don't hold the steel hair too long. I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. Let's stop talking. Yes, well, repairing that is quite expensive. Well, good thing that we can sell you also quite a lot of shit as well. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm, all right, so. Yeah, we should get the 600 that he has. There you go. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure making busyness. Very, very busy busyness. Jesus Christ be praised. Do you know how the blacksmith does his tempering? You'll have to ask him yourself. I help him out here and there, but I could never do his work for him. Well, thank you. Well... My pleasure. Of course not, because you're a woman and you can't do Why anything. Is the blacksmith muttering nonsense to himself? <laughs> Has he been in the sun too long? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Just a silly little rhyme for his work, to time it right. Oh, I see. I thought he was delirious. No, he's like that all the time. Take care. Delirious. That's what he is all the time. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's move on. We have the bathhouses down here, which we're going to use also. But probably in the early morning. You know, it's a nice uh, little morning. Fuck. That's always good. Not now. Wait, is, it, is there a thief? I think there was a thief, but... I think somebody screamed after a thief, but he ran away. He escaped. The thief escaped. Too bad.
What's up? You need some help? No, I'm good. Thank you. Um, we're in here. All right. Is that a butcher? This is a butcher. Butcher McBoochy face. Ah, oh, Mr. Butcher. Would like to have some meat, eh? I can't provide. I'll be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm trying to get livestock for Privis Lab. Could you help me out? Certainly. How are the fuck? Yeah, we're doing all right. Glad to hear it. There's a friend of mine there, Jonah. Mm, sorry, can't say I do. Andy fella. Always making something. Mm, sorry. Ah, well, it's not. You sure don't have it easy. I was thinking about it myself. About going, but my place is, uh... I want you to supply... Right, and who's going to take it? I've got a merch. Good. I'll be... So, here's my... I know it's a bit on the dear side, but you'll get lean, tender meat from them. You know what? You can have it, too. That's a good price. I'll buy it. Why is it so cheap? You can count on me. If you run into... I will. We don't have to pay that much. We just have to pay it once, and that's it. It's really strange. But, you know, more meat for, for, for the place. Whatever. Mmm, sausage. You know what, you can have the bacon. And um, some dried meat and some mushrooms. Way too much about that, of that. Don't need the preserver, screw that. The salami won't hold for long, but I think it will hold it long enough so we can eat it tomorrow in the morning. And that's about that. And you know what? Because I'm such a generous god. See? I'm a very much nice person. Um, about that activity. Are you in need of a helping hand, Master Butcher? A banana? No. But I've got a problem with supplies. How do you want to supply me with livestock if you have a problem with supplies? I see. Nothing I can do for you then. I'm not a farmer. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And maybe you can help me with that. You want me to poach game? Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. No. You would have to get it by, uh, other means. I don't want to spoil your plans, but game doesn't grow on trees. What? No. no? But if you happen to be walking in the woods and uh, came across something, if you see what I mean. All right. Let's say I'll take a walk in the woods and I'll come across something and bring it to you. Excellent. I'm glad to see you speak my language. Get me a wild boar for now, so I can see what you can do. And don't worry. You'll be well rewarded. May the Lord watch over you. Fat profits. Ah, uh, you know what? Fat profits was the nickname of your mother in the whorehouse, bitch. Okay. Finally, it stopped raining. It was still raining since we were banging. What's her name again? You know, the love of her life. Teresa, that's her name. It was raining ever since. For a day and a half. Day and a half. Is that the trader place? Uh, where did they just end up? I did end up in some house. Oh, I'm over here right now. Oh, I'm in here. Ah, 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 ah. The traitor. The traitor is in there. Oh, I hope that, that he's still open. That would be too bad if he wouldn't. I would like to sell the final shit. No! Ah, oh, you bastard. Already sleeping at... Son of a bitch. Hello, Mr. Guardsman. Mm. 
Mm. I think that's the bailiff and that's the innkeeper. Yeah, all right. Well, I, I honestly, I do have to say, I like the town square in Sasso. This looks really, really nice. Like the, these houses are all over here with the little fences and whatnot. And then there's the town square over here. I do, I do, I do, do like it very much. You're not, damn it. Don't you run away from me. God save you. What can I do for you? Jesus Christ be praised, dear fellow bailiff friend. I'd like to you want to buy That's what I said. I'm in charge of renew Well I never. Looks like it. Well, it's all the uh on the and we I can I understand. Have you got some? I've got a this couldn't we Sorry, I can't, Henry. I've this is the pr take it all. Is there anything interesting going on here? Well, there's two good for nothings from Scarlets who are a thorn in my side. It's one thing sympathizing with them after what happened, but it's another one they get mixed up in all kinds of mischief. I'll catch them red handed sooner or later. When I do, they'll be sorry they crossed me. Oh, it's our old friends. I forgot about them. Man, it's been a long time. Is there anything interesting going on here? It's so peaceful, it worries me. Yeah. Farewell. You and me have different jobs, I guess. For me, it's not peaceful at all. Or at least in the cities, we're more or less safe. Oh. All right. All the shops are closed. Everybody's going to sleep now. Hmm. We could start stealing shit in here. You know what? Why don't we just go and start stealing some shit in here? Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, depends what you're willing to do. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago. We dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous. It was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his heels with dust. All the way to Ledechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. And that's not all. Of course, it's your own scallops, folk need the most help. There's some of them at the monastery. Talked to Yohanka a few times. She's working her fingers to the bone taking care of the injured ones there. I'm sure she'd welcome some good Samaritan who'd lighten her load. That's all I can think of. All right, man. Oh, girl. A real helpful man. Nothing I've heard about. He talks really weird. Wait, you don't have a bed for me? I'm looking for an odd jobber here. Elijah's his name. From Moho, yet? Yes, I know. He's sitting outside at the father's bench. Thanks. Good luck to you. Wait, you don't have a bed for me? My lady. Good day to you. Jesus Christ, people. They, do they don't have a bed? Innkeeper? What the fuck's Oh, there he is. Hey. Lord, watch out. No, nothing. Hmm. Alright. Oh, it's the wrong place. There's no... bed in here. Because the bed is somewhere else. There you go. Across the river. But these two idiots are sitting. We're just gonna ignore them for now. I'm really not interested in, 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 in dealing with them right now. Um, are you the innkeeper? No, you're somebody else. Who are you? A farmhand? All ah, right. What do you want? God save you. Jesus what Christ be praised. Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... Well... Honest. Oh yeah, that's the perfect guy. He wants to steal something and uh, well, we can steal something during the night. What's it about? 
I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets. For a reward, of course. Of course. Well, then it's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the grush and he owes me. And also a pouch containing an amulet he got from a herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone. So when he realizes he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the Groshen as a reward. I'll be with you. Well, well, well. Can we now? Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay, um... Uh, where is it? No. Wait, it's right here. Oh. It is right here. What's the step? What is around? There you go. That was easy. Thank you, sir. Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Great, thanks. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive for fleas and lice without his amulet. I'm always on the lookout for work. What have you got? When I worked for the farmer, I took a fancy to his maid. Only she's got someone else. A draper. He gives her fine shawls and chemises. And I don't have a chance. Go and steal the shawl she has. What use would her shawl be to you? I'll slip it to someone else, and then tell the draper his sweetheart puts no value on the gifts he gives her. He's really jealous, so he'll be mad as hell. That's not very nice of you. But what do I care? What's it worth to you? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll reward you in Groshen. Farewell. Steal the girl's shawl. Which is also right here. Ah, oh boy. Alright, we're gonna work it out first, people. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna end the episode now over here. And I'll see you then next time. Ah, uh, but first, where's the... Sessa Wagoners Inn. God save you. Jesus Christ be praised. What is that all? That's all the money we're going to play for? Wow. Um, which we're going to take? There are way too many. Saint George, guide my hand. Let's see how they fall. I need to pay for the. I need to pay for the um room somehow. So. <laughs> oh come on. You lucky bastard. I mean, I got... I'm, I'm cheating with, with the dice. What are you doing, man? What's this? Two... Yeah, I got nothing.
That Seriously? What are you rolling over there, you bitch? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> About and we'll roll again. My way. One. Ah. Come on, it's time I had a throw. Just a second. I'll finish you off right now. Pull me an ale. <laughs> Almost. I oh, know, we did it. <laughs> you punish me. Well, well, well. Mr. Innkeeper. Hello, my lord. My ladies. Sir? I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You might. Are there any problems around here I might be able to... Nothing I've heard of. Anything of interest? Mm, no. Mm, no. Is there some... I suppose I could... For how long? Forever. How about... One ale, please. Come on, man. Like, do I look like a rich fella? Since it's you. I am. As you wish. Nah. Nah, come on. You'll like it here. Good. We're on the upper floor of the inn. There are steps up the second door. Thank you. Okay. Oh, good. And we're gonna drop some items in there. I'm gonna sleep for a while. And then, um, I just need to make sure, do I have any important items in here? Um, the Tampa Crest. Some arrows. Yeah, I'd want to keep that one too. But we're gonna steal a lot, so the inventory from the horse won't be enough. And we need to drop that stuff around here. Yeah, we'll have to. Just need to be careful when I rearrange stuff again. Um, that's alright. Fellas, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you, well, just in a couple of hours again. We're not going to sleep for a long time. Although we're kind of tired. Ah, the whole house will take care of it. See you next time. Goodbye.